uh, in the meantime, now that we're here, speaking of libraries, yeah, <laughs> why don't we do? I don't have a button yet for this. We gotta do this. Backlog, 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 backlog. Hey guys, it's backlog time. Well, what's the backlog? Backlog is a segment of the show. It used to be its own show, but now it's a segment of this show where we go through our video game collection. Every game we've ever bought, we've put into an Excel spreadsheet. That needs to be updated dramatically. It really <laughs> does. Uh, over 900 games over 30 years, 40 years almost, because I'm an old fart. And today we're going to pick one at random and talk about it, regardless of whether or not we've played it. 900 and what now? Just 900. 900. All yeah. right. We're going to generate and we're looking at... That's weird. 890. That's pretty high. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, this is a good one. It is um, Jedi Fallen Order for the Xbox One. Okay. So this was the first... What do they call this series now? The Fallen this is the, series? This is the Jedi... Uh, the Star Wars Jedi series. This is what Star they call Wars it. Jedi this is the series. first game in the series. This is Star Wars Jedi colon Fallen Order. Okay. Um... Published by EA, developed by Respawn, released on the Xbox One. That's how I played it. Uh, also on PS4 and PC. Um, I have not played enough of this game. I've played a little bit of it, and I really liked what I played, but I played it way after the game came out. Yeah. I played it on, uh, I played it on, I think, Steam Deck and the Asus Ally, but the problem is this game has a really bad EA launcher. Yeah. And it doesn't play very nicely with any of those handhelds. Right. And sometimes it like the launcher messes up and doesn't work. Sometimes I like I got to log in and I don't know what the fucking login is. On the Steam Deck it it works great on the Steam Deck besides the launcher. The launcher ruins yeah. the game on the Steam Deck. So it makes me not want to play it. Right. Uh doesn't have that problem on a console, you know, a real video game system. It just <laughs> launches and it's fine. Um but yeah, no, this game I didn't finish it, but I kind of wish I did because this is hands down the best EA Star Wars game. Yeah, I believe like, that. Period. It's one of the best Star Wars games in years. It's pro it might be one of the best Star Wars games, period. It's I just really a, like what I play. It's just a really well designed, really well thought out game. It's a little hard. I played it on a harder difficulty, I think. Yeah, I kept having to bump down the difficulty because I think... In my mind, I'm used to like the older Jedi games, like uh, Jedi Outcast or The Force Unleashed, right. where those are just like hack and slash. This game is more of like the it, it's a Souls game, yeah. And like you have to play it like a Souls game, where you actually have to think about the combat. You have to strike at the right time. You have to parry at the right time. You have to dodge at the right time. And like that took me forever to wrap my head around. But like. Once you do get in the swing of things, like it feels like incredible. It just feels so good. You actually feel like you're sword fighting rather than just hitting a button and like bashing a baseball bat against somebody's head. Yeah, there's some Star Wars games where the lightsaber doesn't feel like it does anything. It just feels like you're just flailing it around yeah. and damage is happening around you. But in this game, the lightsaber actually connects to stuff and does things. Yeah. Uh, so. It's 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 great. Other than that, it's just a well designed game. Yeah, from, from what I've played, uh, the traversal is really nice. The, yeah. the 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 way you're parrying uh, blaster shots from stormtroopers yeah. is really good. Uh, I haven't really gotten into any like actual lightsaber duels in the game. Yeah, um, those come later because you do run into uh, the Inquisitors. Um, you know the secret uh, team uh, of Darth Vader's secret team that goes out and hunts any surviving Jedi. From I have seen a lot of spoilers from yeah. this game. And oh it, yeah. There's a lot of spoilers. It makes <laughs> me want to see the game through to the end because yeah. I, I do like uh, what I, I do like what I've seen of the story. Yes. It's, it's a very well told story. Um, it, it's, it doesn't, it doesn't dramatically like change or reveal anything about star Wars, like the star Wars lore. Right. Um, but it does like create new and interesting and unique scenarios that make sense within the world of star Wars. Like for like the big thing, I think that this contributed to star Wars canon is you remember in Obi-Wan when they go to 
that I forgot what the planet they go to, but he basically sees the crypt of like all the Jedi that are slain, like floating in tubes. Yeah, that's from this game. Right, right, yeah. right. I did hear. I do remember that. Yeah, because because uh, I, I saw some. Yeah. I saw the Obi Wan series, <laughs> yeah. and then I saw that uh, there were parts from that the game in that and then i saw other people saying like oh that whole thing is from this game yeah but that's cool that they're like that's a good interesting way of like incorporating stuff from your other media like with yeah. each other like that's a good thing disney did a good thing with star wars so, yeah there's a lot of other lore that's not the the, the movies or the shows that has good stuff that they should yeah. pull from uh this takes place in a period of time in star wars that i hate uh <laughs> When they just keep adding Jedi yeah. that should be dead. Mm -hmm. um, but whatever. I have to put that <laughs> aside sometime. I, I, like, yeah. like I, there's been a lot of media from that, like, that takes place in that time period that I've, like, ignored because I just don't like the idea of having all of these Jedi alive at, yeah. at that time period. Um, but I guess the whole plot behind this is... He's, they're trying to kill him. Yeah, like he's he's in at the start of the game. He's in hiding. Yeah, and like he gets found out. Now he's on the run again. Um, and I think that makes perfect sense why yeah. they would uh, reference that in Obi Wan because yeah. it's the same. He do Obi Wan's doing the same thing. The game is like I said before. It's like a Souls like game, but it's also very much a Metroidvania type game where you know you start off out on one planet and then like you can hop between different planets and the more. Uh, experience you get the more powers you get the more abilities you get you can explore more and more of the planet mm -hmm. and just the way the planets are designed and the levels are designed it 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 does that really like half-life does this really well too it like subtly guides you where you need to go but it doesn't beat you over the head with like arrows and compasses yeah, that's and what stuff. i want i love that and like it doesn't really do the yellow paint thing. It like makes it obvious like where you can go and what you need to go, where you need to go, but it doesn't like like I said, it doesn't beat you over the head with it. Yeah, I need that in games. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I want I want it to feel open, but at the same time, I want to know what I have to do. It does I will say it does get like very video gamey the level design. Sometimes there's one there's one level in particular. It does this, it does the classic modern video game thing where you slide down a hill. That mm -hmm. every third person video game does i remember that meme from this game yeah it, it's very egregious in this game to the there's one level where like you're doing that and you're also like bouncing off of things like sonic the hedgehog and the one meme put it to city escape from sonic 2 sonic mm -hmm. adventure 2 because that's basically what happens but but it's fun it's yes. it's just it's very fun it, it's a good challenge but um you can bump down the difficulty if you need to and it's still it's accessible but it also uh gives you a good play experience it's not too easy yeah when you bump it down um the new main character cal kestis i didn't like him at first because he's basically a poor man's cal katarn and it's, <laughs> it's cal katarn erasure between this and rogue one yeah but he grows on you you begin to empathize no, with I like, him. you begin I like to him. understand him yeah I, I want to know more of his story it's the reason why i wanted to play the game yeah uh all the characters they introduced in this game are very good um it kind of makes me want to play jedi survivor i need to finish this game first but like yeah, yeah it does make me want to play jedi survivor even though like i've heard jedi survivor has its own like uh set of problems well i heard that was also really good Right, but it's on a technical level, like between like, yeah. The I'd game imagine they fixed problem. a lot of yeah. that stuff by now. Yeah. So, um, this is that the, launched at thirty frames, I think on I think so console, yeah. or there was like a different yeah. mode or something. I don't, I don't know, yeah. but uh, that was like one of the big controversies. Yeah. Um, this is an EA Star Wars game. It's their third Star Wars game. It's it's a weird because when EA got the exclusive Star Wars license for ten years, they put out two Battlefront games and everybody hated them. Mm -hmm foreshadowing <laughs> uh, uh they put up two battlefront games uh the first one people didn't really like the second one people liked even less and now now we have this like weird third person like single player only game because single player games don't sell according to ea and like it's the respawn team who made titanfall which ea clearly doesn't like titanfall so like there's like no expectation for this game yeah and it comes out and it's immediately the EA's best-selling Star Wars game. It's EA's most critically acclaimed Star Wars game. It, it, it's an immediate. It's like an instant classic 
almost. And we almost didn't get this game because EA just doesn't know what to do with Star Wars or Respawn for that matter. This game is in, in a way a modern miracle. This probably came very close to being canceled. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because there, there, there's no uh, multiplayer element. No multiplayer element. No real like. There's no loot boxes. No loot boxes. No real way to like you know get microtransactions out of you for it. It's an old fashioned single player experience. It's a long single player experience. Mm -hmm. Um, and like the you know the mindset of like you know big AAA gaming is like that doesn't sell or that doesn't make. The money that it needs to. Yeah. Thank God this had the Star Wars license because if this was just a regular ass game, it probably wouldn't have sold. No. But I think because it was Star Wars, it it turned people on to not only a good game, but like the genre as a whole. This was my first Souls game, honestly. Not true. We tried doing Dark Souls that one time, but you played it. I was reading you, the strategy you, we guide. We played multiplayer Dark Souls. I read the strategy because guide. you were reading the strategy yes. guide to me because the game's so fucking hard. You yeah, don't know this where is the, the first one got. I like, actually like played. Oh, and, and like, I got to a sliding part in this, in yeah. this guy's let's play. Yeah, like this is probably the most like a lot of thanks Uncharted for this. We're like sliding down a hill is like a big part of gaming now. There is a lot of Uncharted in this game. There's a lot of Uncharted. There's a lot of Metroid. There's a lot of Dark Souls. There's a lot of this that is looked, like that looked janky as hell. <laughs> <laughs> There's the rope. That's very uncharted. Yeah. Also climbing. There's so much climbing in games now. Yeah. Because, thanks to Assassin's Creed and Uncharted. Yeah. This game really is like an amalgamation of like the best games out there, but it's like one of the best amalgamations that you can think of. I've always say like EA is a studio that, that like definitely tries to like ride the coattails of other popular games. Yeah this is the best they've ever done it. Well, it's because, like, I love Star Wars and I don't mind... Like, like I... It, like, I, I, I think the same thing happened with Batman. Like, I liked Arkham because it took a lot from other games, but mm -hmm. just made it Batman. So you just mm -hmm. take some of the best examples from other games and just make them Star Wars, I'm gonna like it. Right. So... That's why I just want to be in this universe and I want to have good mechanics in the universe. That's it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, that's why we, so you got it on Xbox. I, I got it on Xbox. I yeah. got it on Steam. Right. Uh, I think probably, oh, cause it was on sale. I got it yeah. on sale like way after it came out and I wanted to get it so I can try it on the yeah. Steam Deck. I got something. this at launch and I think I actually got it. I, I think Newegg had a sale on it at launch oh, wow. on Xbox. So I'm like, fuck it, snag it up there. Um, I didn't finish it. Did you get far? I got up to Dathomir, which I think is the halfway point. Darth Maul's homeland. Um, oh. You can actually go there earlier if you wanted to, but it would be much harder if I didn't do that. I think this is the last game I was like playing until, and then my daughter was born. Oh, so that's so, no more games. Yeah, exactly. No more so games. I haven't been back to it since. Maybe I will like boot it up. I don't know if I would. I feel like I should just start the game over at this point. I like, like that with Death Stranding. Yeah, I gotta put, I gotta jump back into Death Stranding. Yeah, but I, but like, I, I don't feel know like if, I should just start it over. Yeah, I did buy that on Steam. So if you want to yeah, play Death Stranding, oh it's great. On Steam. <laughs> also, if you want to play this, you can play it. Well, you can't. Oh, you don't have a Steam. Deck. Yeah, but I got it on Xbox, so I don't need it. Um, That's true. I did boot it up recently because it's one of those games that is uh, Series X compatible, where they upscaled it and whatnot. I don't know what they did to it, but it does look very good. Okay, it looks really nice. It runs really well. Um, I'm happy they like updated it for the next gen systems because I, it's a game that like should be played and experienced in the best possible way because it is it is hands down ea's best star wars game and it is one of the best star wars games period yeah i think yeah oh so. uh i like it a lot i need yeah. to play more though i didn't play i didn't play enough yeah of it. same uh, and i'm gonna blame the ea launcher <laughs> i would have played a lot more of this if the ea launcher didn't right. suck ass Guys, thanks for watching the backlog. Yeah. Uh, if you're here from the YouTube VOD, come to a podcast sometime. Subscribe to the channel for more backlog. See you later. Bye. Bye.